Alan Ronald was born north of Portage La Prairie, Manitoba. His education up to grade 10 was in a rural, one-room schoolhouse where he developed the skill of learning by teaching others. His career role model came from a familiar source. As a child, I was inspired, I think, to a considerable extent by our family physician who uh, I revered his ability to have all the answers to the questions that my mother or I asked. After medical school, Dr. Ronald pursued further training internationally in internal medicine, infectious diseases, and clinical microbiology. Upon returning to Winnipeg, he was responsible for the creation of the Manitoba Infectious Disease Program. His particular interest was in the appropriate anti, uh, antibiotic therapy for individuals with urinary tract infections and uh, sexually transmitted diseases. I was enthusiastic about the disciplines of infectious diseases and microbiology, and that enthusiasm uh, created uh, interest at both within uh, our university uh, in Winnipeg, and it ultimately created national interest in, uh, in these disciplines. Dr. Ronald and the outstanding team he recruited to Winnipeg did pioneering work in the early 70s, investigating, understanding and controlling the outbreak of sexually transmitted diseases. He is one of the people who has transformed uh, infectious diseases over the past few decades so that it is now a uh, recognized and important uh, field within the broader area of internal medicine. In 1979, the World Health Organization referred Dr. Ronald to Kenya to assist them in the battle against a virulent disease. He arrived just at about the time when a very mysterious uh, disease uh, appeared that, uh, that was lethal and deadly to literally thousands. In 1981, I was sitting in, a, in, the, in the Nairobi club and my colleague got a telephone call that day saying that he had to return to the U.S. because there had been these bizarre cases in New York and Los Angeles of, of young gay males who were dying of strange diseases. And he was there at the beginning of that, uh, uh, what became the global epidemic of HIV AIDS. And we had no idea as we sat there talking about what possibly could this be. He quickly shifted gears where he uh, and his cohort of researchers conducted some of the landmark studies in the subject of HIV, disease, transmission, mechanism of action of, uh, of the virus. What he's done is to help those countries develop programs of prevention, of early identification, and of treatment, and has achieved success. He really, in my view, exemplifies what it means to be a world citizen in the global health arena. You know, I have uh, enjoyed my professional life immensely, and it's been important to me. I've enjoyed my 48 years with my wife. I've enjoyed uh, uh, my children and my grandchildren, and I'm proud of them. I'm also extremely proud of the individuals who felt that they were mentored and supported through spending t two or three years as my students and fellows. And you know, So these are all things that uh, one values as you look back and wonder what is your contribution to our world. Internationally respected expert, tireless dedicated mentor, passionate world citizen with limitless enthusiasm. Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. Alan Ronald.